and welcome guys to a, another video on our little inventory slash FPS now you guys have been patient with me and everything else and you know I've tried to do some uh, tower defense tutorials and everything but I don't think you guys really do watch those if you actually don't watch those please let me know and things like that well I pretty much see it my viewership for one of those videos is like maybe three so it's kind of pointless for me to make those and everything but I do try to make some variety of things because you know it'll be a hit or miss but in this video we are going to be discussing how we're gonna do we're gonna start setting up our heels and we're going to be changing up how we deal with certain things in our inventory system. Because we're going to be moving on into other types of stuff. Now, just a display. We have our character here. And for some reason it's taken forever. Okay. We've got one button here. And this is a button that's called menu, inventory menu item which you've seen the script for this we've done some changes for it so but if you would have seen the stream you would have seen me change this anyway because I did this on stream the cool thing about this is my equipment thing right here this I changed it up where this is now a weapon but if I wanted to change this from a weapon to something else all I have to do is change this enum. I've got another scriptable object right here that's like health pack consumables. And this is the start of our functions to go to other things. Why the heck did I just go through the floor? That makes no sense to me. Um, okay, that was really weird. But now I've got nothing in here because the health pack scriptable object that I've got doesn't have anything for text. If I push it, it doesn't do anything. It goes and says an error of the requested feature is not implemented. Ah, it's not put in the game. That's what it means. I can't say that word. Gosh dang it. Can't do it, man. Can't do it. So, <laughs> with any case, it's not coded in yet. But the functionality is there, which is nice. But the cool thing about this is... If I go back up to my thing and go to my equipment and push this out to a weapon now, health pack is a different scriptable object type. This is a weapon type. Okay, We've got slots, so it can go to slot 1 or slot 2 now. We have got rid of the predetermined buttons where you have to change the prefab to go to a button. All you have to do is an enum now okay and that's that's the the best way well not maybe not the best way I don't know how you could say it but it makes it very very easy to change stuff because all you gotta do is go into the scriptable object and go bloop. so now we've got our weapon still works just the same as it did and I still ain't fixed that silly why can't I move oh there we go Oh, because my speed was adjusted and stuff. We have made changes to basically about everything. So, we do have little issues with that. Which is, you know, it's just the way it is, right? And, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I'm okay with it. Because, um, this script is another script this is instantiated at runtime okay so if we go into here and change up our our m4 to be slot 2 then what our button is going to do is instantiate something based on what we need but it doesn't know what to do, so it's not integrated, and it's not going to go. 
see our, our, our menu item, it's it it doesn't have the code to do something for slot or for another slot, only slot one. Okay. We still have the stack thing where if we got multiple of the same thing, it changes our stack on our button. See, now we got a 10. I can put it where it goes onto the uh, the text, but I didn't see the purpose of doing it for the text. Later on, when we got health potions or something like that, like heal packs, we'll do that. I, I put the slot enum here because I see people wanting to do like what time what type of uh, a different types of heals that you could do like one could be a heal over time the other could be uh, an instant heal it just made sense to, the the putting enum into that because of that I mean I know it's an RPG like thing but a lot of times and I see it um, like in uh i think it's actually a fallout you can get uh i think it's a nuka cola it instantly heals like 500 or something and then or, or like 50 percent of your health or something like that i i forget what it is but then it slowly heals something after so we could have a, a thing like that where it could do stuff but in any case, we need to discuss how we can change this stuff. So, for the most part, we need to do some coding. Yes, I'm sorry, it sucks, but we need to do some coding and... Why is that there? Okay. Alright, so this is our container. We've got inventory, blah, 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 this hasn't changed. Let's go. Data, this hasn't changed whatsoever. Menu slot item has changed. Now, this is changed because of we're not using the menu clicker thingy. Okay? That is not part of the thing. So we don't have this action here anymore. So we can get rid of this. Okay, and it says on pointer click. That's what it was. On pointer click we're no longer doing it in this script okay the idea of this script is basically to do the visual stuff for us the the sprites and stuff like that enter and exit events that's basically what it's doing so it, it no longer needs to know an action okay because it's got no no thing for an action all right now we still have a, a public thing for the stack because, well, it just makes sense to have it there. Set icon hasn't changed. Enter and exit hasn't changed. This has changed a little. We've got inventory item. It's an item. We still have it do stuff like this. Tags and all that stuff. Set string. But we have a switch statement right here. Okay. In the switch statement, slot 1, you'll pick up menu weapon slot 1. Because this sounds to me like this is going to be a weapon. Okay? It's going to be a weapon. It doesn't matter. Because it's an uh, inventory item. Now, if you want consumable item, then it does functions like this down here. Okay? But we haven't got to the consumable part. But it is being set up. We take a temporary variable of menu weapon 1. Which is a slot 1 kind of thing. It pushes it to a slot 1 on our player. Basically it calls up this function right here. Okay. Which in our weapon stuff, it's public slot what i weapon one and it does this stuff which i'm not going to go into because this hasn't changed any so it adds the component and you have to do it like this 
add component is part of this dot game object. You just can't do this dot add component. I was like, why don't I have the thing for add component? This is stupid. And then I got uh, a slot thingy for two case number slot. Okay. Now this temporary thing is right here. And then we go item and we pass it the item. Okay. And that's what it does. The item. So weapon one. Let's go into the go to declaration. Put it up here. This has got I mail weapon one destroyer. Not too much has changed besides not having that excess code. But we still need I click handler because it clicks. Okay, this is what does our clicky clicky stuff. Okay. It's still the same functionality here and all the other stuff. We got menu to player. That's still the same. Okay. This is still the same. This is still the same. This is not. Used to, we used to have all this code right here. Well, guess what? All this code right here is therefore moved to the menu thing. Okay. And this is important. Now we set the action based on this because it's always going to be to the player. We're not going to change the action. We could get rid of the the action up here and just hard code something into it. But the problem with it is um, if we um want to do a consumable or or maybe uh oh when we want to go sell something like on our our buttons we want to change the functionality not to go to the player but to somebody to sell then we're going to need this action because what we're going to do when it comes to selling is we're going to uh, change this action. We're going to call a function in here that sets up another place for it to go. You know, if we're selling to maybe a caravan or like I, I've been playing too much room world. I'm sorry, guys, but um, you know, just sell to somebody out in the wastelands. You know, like in Fallout or something. We're going to have to change the action of this doesn't really care about this kind of stuff you know it doesn't really matter about like this other stuff that's around here because what it's going to end up being is probably a float uh, by amount okay which is going to be like 1 F and that's how much you can buy it for and then sell amount be divided by two or something like that based on your reputation or anything of that form factor. But that's the reason why this action still exists. Okay. But yeah. So we don't even need this function right here. Ew, and a very important thing. This is no longer, uh, a lot of these functions aren't overrides anymore because they're not virtuals or anything extended from another script. This menu item, when you first, this inventory menu item, when I first introduced it, it was abstract because I was overriding it and I didn't want it to go anymore. It's no longer abstract. The same with menu one right here add this a public seal class which I'm pretty sure it's not going to give you a problem for the seal right here but it could come up on the compiler and not like it which you know would be devastating like heartbreaking but that's how that works now in our player 
I did add, no, we're not to that yet. Are we to any of this? Um, no, not yet. Okay. Menu, okay, this does the sprites, this does the thing, so that's all good. We discussed how to add a component to this. The consumable we haven't got to, okay. But um, I'm going to cut the video on this right here, right at this point, because I think it deserves a whole video on how we're going to loop through our inventory and things like that, because I think it's going to take a little bit more time than 15, 20 minutes. And I don't want this video to be super long, because a lot of people probably will not like it if it's super long. So peace out, everybody. Thanks for watching, and this is War over and out, and I will try to get the video out as probably like right after this one. It'll probably just be a new one. You'll probably see it like right next to it at the same time. If not, a few hours probably later, just due to, you know, YouTube's upload speed and stuff. But thanks for watching. Peace out, and this is War over and out.